As the temperatures dip, more asylum seekers are spending their days and nights inside CTA buses parked at the landing zone in downtown Chicago. CBS 2's Sabrina Franza is there and spoke with someone who's left living on a bus. There are some people that are on these buses that have been there for days, and we're trying to figure out when the city might move them elsewhere. From Venezuela to a CTA bus, a father tells us that he and his 13 year old son have been here for four days in the eight warming buses that now sit at the city's landing zone, the spot designated to accept migrants. When we asked him what he needed, food and answers, he has no idea when the city might relocate them to a more secure shelter space. Next to the landing zone, the state continues to build their intake center. Six heated tents meant not for housing, but to provide placement and other services to migrants as they arrive. City data shows 537 asylum seekers are staying at the landing zone today. That's up from only 151 people that were stationed at the landing zone Friday. While the Johnson administration has asked the federal government for help, they're also being sued in federal court. After we're told, the city brought 95 cases against bus companies for violating their rogue bus ordinance. The bus companies are suing them back, this time in federal court. The attorney for the bus companies claims the ordinance violates the United States Constitution. The city didn't give us a specific timeline of when they expect to move these people out of these buses. They did tell us, though, that over the weekend they received 40 buses of asylum seekers coming from the suburbs into the city of Chicago and nine just on Saturday and Sunday. They tell us right now they're focusing on immediate needs, which they say they can provide here until room opens up and then priority then will be moving families first. We're at the city's landing zone. Sabrina Franza, CBS 2 News.